budget could just be stopped with open seats. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're uh, we're disappointed. Uh, you know, not um, coming out on top. You know, it's not easy to get to this game. And, and, uh, we hope to have a little better performance uh, to try to finish it off. And you know, for us, I thought Southern Connecticut was extremely vulnerable tonight. I don't think they played anywhere near their best game. And, you know, they really stayed with their game and actually just beat us up on the backboards, which was really the key to the game. You know, we missed ton of open looks for us. We couldn't put the ball in the basket and then they just missed their shots and put it up on the backboard. So there's really not a lot of uh, analysis on why that game was lost. I think everybody in this room can probably figure that out. Kellen, do you have questions for you? Can you talk about Barrow? Did you play three minutes in the second half? Um, well, they went, to, they went to a zone and just getting lost on the baseline, and then they went small, and he had nobody to guard. So, you know, in the first half, I think Dom did a really good job uh, taking advantage of his mismatch around the basket. He did a pretty good job guarding Murphy because Murphy didn't make any shots. And then, you know, in the second half, they just exploited us a little bit. So, you know. Seven to thirty-one from three-point range. I mean, that's, yeah, that's just doing right for us. You know, for us to get get to this game and um, the way we're built, you know, we we have to make shots. And you know, seven for thirty-one, and I'm going to say three of those were you know hit two that were pretty much at the end of the game. That I don't want to say they didn't mean anything, but they were just trying to keep us in there. So yeah, I'd say in the guts of the game. In the shots that we had, I, I mean, that's what we do. You know, we're 40% from behind the line. We've got John Nielsen, Mike McKaggy, and Roy Mabry, that that's what they do. And tonight, we just couldn't knock them down. So yeah, it, it's going to be hard for us to, to beat a team like that when we shoot like that. And the only reason I think we were in the game is because they shot the ball so poorly. You know, so they were. They sort of helped us along. They weren't at the top of their game either, which sort of allowed us to hang around even when we weren't making shots. Um, the penetration by uh, Tylan Smith, I mean, all night. Yeah, it, it, it's what he does to us. Once, once they open us up and he goes, you know, now, I, I, I thought in the first half he, he actually missed a lot of his conversion plays at the rim, and we bothered him a little bit. You know? You know, a lot of his free throws were at the end when we had to foul him. But he's a he's a tough kid for us to keep out of the painted area, and um, just a terrific player. So yeah, we we struggled with him in the lane in the first game, and we struggled with him again tonight. Five minutes into the second half, you're up nine, and you hadn't made a three yet. You were yeah. 0 for 11, and you were one for your first 20, yeah. and made six of your last 10, or something like that. Um, yet you were up nine. It just, to me, I was like shocked, you know, broadcasting the game that you you, you were beating them without playing your game. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. If 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 we want to, they were they were vulnerable. They didn't play well, and you know, usually when you get to this game, um, you know, like I I. I think they're terrific. I mean, that's a, that team is 32, unarguably the best team in the region. I mean, I don't think anybody would dispute that. So for us to beat them, you know, we have to play, be on top of our game. And like you said, that was 25 minutes in. We hadn't made a three yet, and um, we're up by nine. So yeah, I felt pretty fortunate. And then, you know, then the whole thing shifted. Then we still didn't make any shots. and. They finally made a run. You know, they finally got their game back in order. And let's face it. I mean, they they the game was won for them on the offensive class. You know, 
know, so anytime you give up 19 offensive rebounds to somebody, um, you know, it's a, it's it's tough to overcome that. So, you know, it's funny. It's you know, we've got weaknesses. You know, you saw two of them. We we struggled to guard quick guards and keep them out of the painted area. We're not very big in our health. You know, we're very small. Uh, and we haven't rebounded very well all year, and I think they exploited two of those areas, and we fell down in our shooting, which didn't have much to do with them. It was just we missed shots, personally. Nielsen was so close on so many of those. They either go in or they don't. Um. Right?